The following program contains strong language and is intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. There's no such thing as freedom in this country for a black man. There's no such thing as justice in this country for a black man. And there's no such thing as equality in this country for a black man. This is a white man's country. Rap music makes up for its lack of melody with its sense of reminder. It's, it's linked somewhere into a past or into a legacy that has been overlooked, forgotten, or just pushed to the side amongst all the glut of everything else. Remember that. sense of who we are. It is um, on the ramparts of civilization, a flag that is uncompromisingly black, put there by black people. The essence of hip hop. Poetry to the beat of music. We have no constrictions. We could sing off key. We could sample Tchaikovsky. We can talk about shoelaces if we want to. We can talk about a bullet, too. Rap comes in many different types of categories. When uh, Moses talked to God, God was rapping to Moses about what he should do. To rap is skills. I don't care what nobody say. Everybody want to flex their skills. Everybody want to say that rhyme to have all the other rappers say, damn. I wouldn't have never thought of that. Here's a little story that must be told. About two cool brothers that were put on hold. They tried, tried to, to hold us back. Fought in the fame, they destroyed the crew, and they killed the name. They tried to step on the ego and walk on the pride. But true blue brothers stand side by side through. Thick and thin, from beginning and this battle we lost. But the war will win, cause double trouble is in the house. Some kick and rock and rock and see, we'll turn it out. The hip 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 hop, you don't stop. Rock it out, baby, bubble to the boogity bang bang, the boogie to the boogity beat. Now what you hear is not a test. I'm rapping to the beat, and me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet. Rap is a music of the past and present. It tells new stories over old beats, rhythm sampled, borrowed, or copied from Black American musical history. Since its beginning some 20 years ago here in the Bronx and Harlem as a teenage party movement, it has articulated a raw new black aesthetic which has influenced popular culture all over the world. You see, I am Wonder Mike and I like to say hello. Up to the black, to the white, the red and the brown, and the purple and yellow. But first I gotta bang bang the boogie to the boogie, say up jump the boogie to the bang bang boogie, let's rock. You don't stop, rock the rhythm that'll make your body rock. Well, so far you've heard my voice, but I brought two friends along. And next on the mic is my man Hank. Come on, Hank, sing that song. Check it out. Depending on who you talk to, uh, it goes all the way back to Africa, or you can find antecedents in Southern culture. I mean, there's all kinds of variations on the idea of someone talking over a beat. Come on, Jim! We've been rapping 
quote unquote for a long time. James Brown had a song, Brother Rap. Jesse Jackson raps, Farrakhan raps, preachers rap in the pulpit with call and response. It's a part of our African uh, oral tradition. Rap is John Coltrane. Even though there are no words, uh, he's rapping with his horn. Hip-hop is about new and fresh and boom! Oh, wow, what is this? And it's this, and it's in our world, and it's another facet of our world. Yesterday, New York City, it's the man with the beats. It's the youngest in charge, New York City's number one. The block party movement was spearheaded by DJs like Grandmaster Flash and Africa Bambada. Their parties attracted huge crowds of black and Hispanic teenagers who called themselves B-boys or break boys. This party movement escalated into an intensely creative subculture called hip-hop, which took its roots from the street gangs of the 1970s. Hip hop is, it's the culture of whatever black people create. It's our creativity. This is the term that happened to be for our creativity from 1976 up to now. Um, so I like to get that straight. Hip hop can be emotion like, you know, it doesn't have to just be like rap music. It's rap music falls under that umbrella. Party people, party people, can y'all get funky? Africa Van Bada and uh, Grandmaster Flash are the men who created hip hop. In the gangs, you had a lot of negative things that was going on. You had black on black crime, black on Latino crime, Latino on Latino crime, black on white crime, um, white on black crime. And we took the energies of the negative and tried to change it around and bring positive into the organization by giving you hip hop, by getting brothers and sisters to start rapping, to start break dancing, to start believing in themselves, to start having knowledge of self and knowledge of others. Soul Sonic Force signifies a uh, part of your soul that's searching, that's want to reach to different peaks, and you use sonic sounds to get you there. And it, when it, it gets you there, it's a big force that holds it all together. So it's the Soul Sonic Force. He took the idea of African warriors and adopted it to his collective of people and built a whole mythology that they have actual rules and bylaws. And it's, it's, it's evolved over the course of over 25 years or so, I would say this Africa Zulu Nation concept. So he took the idea of, of what rap could be as a collective of drawing people together, and hip hop drawing people together, and um, conceived almost a religion around it. Breakdance was important because it was another expression of um, showing your energy to the music that was making you feel good, that gave you life, that gave you a spiritual funk, that makes you just get so into the music that you felt God was in you and you just had to let your God out of you. Generally, what sets a DJ apart from another DJ, DJ was three things. Extensive collection, great sound system, skills in a turntable. DJ is the root of hip hop. The DJ is the guy who found the beats. The DJ is the guy who the parties were built around. Well, they put on um, the scratching technique. They brought the, um, the fast mixing, catching the beat on time. 
Um, the DJs also bought incredible records, obscure records that you could never find in many of the major stores by finding in many of the underground type of record shops that they have. Flash is very innovative. The idea of scratching. He apparently is the one who, along with some other people, really invented it and popularized the idea of zigga, 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 playing the records backwards and so on. Well, a break is the climatic part of the record. I uh, made it a point to figure out how can I make this thing a, a, a smooth transition. Just keep this break that's maybe 30 seconds and make it go for like five minutes. Well, a break is that certain part of a record, but it's that certain part where it breaks down to an instrumental that people just get wild on the dance floor and just start acting crazy, and you just keep mixing that forward and back, backward and forward, and the crowd just go crazy. You can make that little one second or five seconds become a minute or a, or a half an hour if you want. You know, that certain beat, they just get you wild. <laughs> 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 Throughout the years, a b-boy uh, became a bad boy <laughs> on another level uh, because the term b-boy uh, began to go to everybody uh, in the hip-hop community that uh, <clears throat> felt as though that in order to maintain strength in the community, we had to show ourselves as hardcore. And a lot of us, the half that was trying to survive, got caught up in the bad boy life. But ultimately, it became a very easy way to say young black urban male, basically. In the same way that uh, hip hop became an all catch for all purpose phrase for this culture. It just seemed easy to say, it was catchy. It just kind of happened. And B-Boy was definitely one of those. I gotta be righteous, I gotta be me. I gotta be conscious, I gotta be free. I gotta be able to counterattack. I gotta be stable, I gotta be black.